They are the defending women's regional 50 overs champion and a side packed with West Indies World Cup champions. But there are quite a few newbies on the team and something that Captain Marissa Aguilera is happy about. The Red Force Divas are into the final preparations before they depart for St. Vincent and Grenadines on the 16th to defend their titles. Nasira Mohammed paid a visit to the women's practice and tells us a bit more. 19 women went into camp for selection to the Trinidad and Tobago Red Force Divas. And Captain Marissa Aguilera said this was the most difficult year to pick a squad as the talent present has far exceeded years gone by. As defending champions, Aguilera, together with veterans like Stacey Ann King, Brittany Cooper and Anissa Mohammed, are hoping to guide the newcomers and play as a family which has led the team to success in the past. Most of all, go there, we have to play as a team, most important. Because I believe when you go, once you go there as a unit, you know, you stick together in good times and bad times and you know, you, can, you could come true as a team and that's the most important factor you must stick together as a team and that's what i'm trying to implement and trying to make sure it's you know it's stuck it's sticking the, the players head because uh, that is one thing what gonna get us through coach gerald garcia has been preparing the team both mentally and technically telling his players that if they control the process of the game with their bowling and batting then they will dictate the outcome of the game skill is not all and skill is the highest level of talent but a good working brain to use and vary what you have one of the things we do we try to get our game right because bowling is about lying and length consistency building pressure building in part bowling and partnerships one of the newcomers who has shown consistent growth and promise is my former ue cricket teammate kanisha isaac whom coach garcia indicated learns as fast as she bowls Suki, as we call her, is still in a state of euphoria and looking forward to this new journey. Some of them would have told me, hey, you know, when you go out there, put your best foot forward. There has been support consistently from everyone. Uh, I don't think anyone has ever said anything negatively. It's just been positive vibes from the camp. Wherever the path and the journey takes me, I'll go. Nasira Mohammed, Sea Sports.